<laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3's full campaign can be played in co-op, with Luigi and Gooigi fighting side by side against ghostly forces. Having played my way through a new level of the upcoming sequel's hotel setting, a cool overgrown forest area, it's clear there's plenty of fun and charm to be had when exploring with a friend. It also quite clearly makes puzzle solving speedier when my co-op partner and I weren't getting in each other's way. While a single player has to summon the essence of Guigi, temporarily take on his consciousness and then revert back to Luigi to solve puzzles, co-op lets both characters run around concurrently all the time. Our demo took us through an area overrun with thick branches, treasure buried in piles of leaves, and several killer plants. At least in the level I played, the camera never split to focus on both player characters like a Lego game. Thankfully, most areas of a level are a single room, so the camera limitation never felt that obtrusive to making progress. The base of Nintendo's fun, unique adventure series holds firm in co-op, with hidden items to collect, secret extra compartments of rooms, and plenty of extra money to suck up with the poltergust. Having a co-op partner makes that process much quicker. We were able to divide and conquer a room, Guigi scouring for coins while I scouted out any potential ghosts in the room. I rarely felt like we got in each other's way with all of our vacuum-based ghost hunting. And while co-op seemed to make the experience overall a bit easier to blast through, it did offer a little more challenge during timed hazard moments in the level. I also did definitely feel like room to room, one player could end up having a little more fun than the other. Take for example a room with a buzzsaw you can suck into the poltergust and use to demolish everything. It's a fun, havoc-inducing time. It's also only available for one player at a time, meaning you either have to share or be selfish. Of course, there are some places where Guigi can go that Luigi just can't. So there is a give and take if you or whoever is playing as Luigi takes more of the driver's seat through a level, as I may have now and then. It will likely depend on the type of player you and your co-op partner are for how fun Luigi's Mansion 3's cooperative mode will be. Overall though, the charm of playing Luigi's Mansion 3 seems to remain intact while playing co-op based on my brief experience with it, delivering on a unique kind of joy in causing mayhem while also trying to survive that playing alone didn't capture for me in my last hands-on opportunity. For more on Luigi's Mansion 3, check out our gameplay of the Haunted Castle area and learn seven disturbing facts about Guigi. And for everything else, stay tuned to IGN. <laughs> <laughs>